Better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. Welcome to the world. That'd be awesome to play with uh, your your older brother Sean, one of your older brothers. Um, you guys yes. won, you know, a big high school state championship together. <laughs> And now you're playing at the highest stage of American soccer. I mean, that must be be special. Do you think about that sometimes? Like, wow, this is this is kind of crazy. Yeah, I mean, I don't think any any either of us would have you know imagined um, playing together in MLS. You know, I think it was definitely both of our dreams to to get to this level. Um, but to be on the same team, I think, was just not even a thought. Um, but yeah, it's cool. I mean. Literally the first question, you know, all media interviewers asked me when I first got here, was like, oh, what's it like playing with your brother? Yeah. Um, and it, it kind of just feels, you know, normal, you know, second nature. You know, we, we played together, like you said, in, in high school, maybe only for like two years together because I ended up playing academy um, and he stayed with Massapequa Club. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it felt natural. Um, you know, and we ended up being pretty successful on the same team. So hopefully that's a, that's a good recipe is having uh, two Nielses on one team. Yeah, yeah it, sounds, I think so. it sounds like it. Yeah, it sounds like it. <laughs> um, you're selected third overall uh, in the draft uh, by Inter Miami with the likes of Gonzalo Higuain, uh, World Cup winner in 2018, Blaise Matuidi. What was that like stepping into the professional game and the differences you found from from Georgetown to Inter Miami? I think the biggest, you know, and the one that comes to mind first is just the speed of play. Um, you know, all these guys. Just they think quicker, they think better, and you know, at the end of the day, they just are better, more technical, um, and stuff like that. So just making that jump, um, but but at the same time, knowing that you know you belong in this league and, and could play in this league as well, you know, you're here for a reason. So just having that confidence that you know, like you said, you can play with the likes of Blaze Matuidi and Gonzalo Higuain and these other guys that are joining the league, these big names now, um, you know, just because they've had these unbelievable careers doesn't mean you can't be on the same field as them. Um, so just making that step and 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 knowing it's going to be a quicker game, um, you're, you're going to make mistakes at this level. Um, but trying to minimize those is is the guys that that do really well. Um, and yeah, I, I, I it was pretty surreal playing with those guys. Um, pretty again, never would have thought I'd be sharing a locker room with them. But uh, yeah, it was awesome. Was there any points during those times where you found it difficult to adjust, where like the confidence would kind of go, or you felt like I don't know, maybe you needed a little bit more time, especially in those early stages to adjust. Yeah, for sure. I think it was definitely kind of, a, you know, almost a cycle where you you'd kind of go on these flows of, um, you know, training good a couple, a couple of days, a couple of weeks, and then you'd kind of go, well, at least for me, I can't speak on anyone else, but I'd kind of go on like a couple of days where, you know, you have a bad day, maybe you get yelled at by a couple of older veterans on the team. And, you know, you try not to take it personal, but, you know, it kind of just hits different. So um, I've definitely been in those kind of slumps, but, you know, it's can you can you not, you know, dip so much, you know, can you not dip your confidence so much and, and kind, of, kind of stay, you know, in a constant level. But, yeah, it's tough, um, you know, when you get yelled at by a couple of guys, you know, it's 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 easy to just fall and kind of just go into your own shell. But I think what makes players, you know, good is you know being able to take that criticism and, and responding to it um but yeah and, you know and, and in the day you're you're kind of fighting for a job you know it's it's our jobs you know so um it's it's tough to be tough to be friendly super friendly all the time you know it's at the end of the day you, you want to compete you want to show everyone that you deserve that that starting job you know you're fighting for a new contract at the end of the day it all what it all comes down to um yeah it's just a different mindset and you know from college you know college you're with your buddies, you know, you're going to school together, you're going out together afterwards, you know, it's a good time. And then once you step to the pros, it's like, ah, oh, all right, these are like grown men you're, you're playing with. And end of the day, they're, they're fighting for food on the table and for their families and stuff like that. So it's, it's just a different kind of mindset. You gotta, you gotta okay. learn and adjust to. Uh, what are some of the biggest things you've learned since being in the league? This is now your, your third season. Yeah. Oh man. It's a, could go anywhere with that question. Um, <laughs> I think just, just being confident, you know, and cause like I said, you know, there's everyone's super talented. Um, there's kind of, you know, the only difference in, in some guys is, you know, is, is minuscule, very different. Um, so, um, 
being playing with confidence is huge. You know, some guys go in that slump, like we talked about earlier, could, and that slump could really affect them. Um, but I think if if your confidence and, and maybe a slight arrogance, you know, feeling good about yourself, you know, not being cocky and stuff like that, but I think you need to have that arrogance in you a little bit where you could show it at sometimes because you know I think that's what what will get you out of those slumps um is you know telling yourself all right yeah I belong here I can I can take two guys on at once and you know and and find a nice pass or or finish um but yeah I I think biggest thing is confidence because um a lot of talented players here there's there's guys that are going to beat you you know I get I get beat some days being as a defender um yeah but not to let it affect you too much and just kind of move on to the next play and stuff like that That mentally adapting um have you had any like what what would you say is one of your biggest hurdles so far in your career how do you look back on it like how you handled it and would you have changed something yeah i maybe i'll go with like that kind of national season as a whole just that's the one that popped up quickly um trying to think of anything else um I mean another hurdle just like when I first came into the league you know dealing with older experienced guys you know in my position you know I always was like okay how am I going to beat them out how am I going to show to the coach that you know um you know I deserve to be playing over these guys um just that just that quickly but um yeah I think just dealing with adversity you know like in Nashville and not, not getting selected to the team, not being, you know, the first choice. Um, like we said earlier, just keeping your head down and working hard, you know, what more can you do? I think mm-hmm. that that's the moment where, you know, you could be doing extra stuff, you know, grab an assistant coach, you know, there's nothing more that they would like is than to do some extra work with you. You know, that's also their job is, is to help you. So they're, they're not going to turn you down and say no. So like, Hey, can, can we go, you know, can you hit me some balls and I can work on my first touch and, you know, playing into space and stuff like that um so yeah I mean ask for help you know ask for what more you can do um you know I think ask yourself that first you know and then and then go from there you know ask ask the coach what he thinks because it's it's always good to get get another viewpoint on, on what they're seeing because maybe maybe you feel like you're, do, you're doing well in an area but you know he, he's seeing something else so um so yeah I think just just ask for help when, when, when that time comes I love that now we talk about having a direction and not an, an end goal or not an end point. So where are you now and what directions do you want to go? Now, I, th- I think, you know, maybe hopefully I, I found a home in, in New York, um, you know, having a, a pretty good year. There's, there's always more I can do. I feel like um, there's some games that I've struggled, um, you know, and, and maybe not have, have had the greatest game. Um, but yeah, you know, hopefully I, I, I'd like to think that, you know, my, my travel has, has come to an end, um, you know, three different places in three different years, um, quite, while it was quite fun, but, uh, you know, I, I think I'd like to, to settle down in one place for, for a bit longer, but, um, you know, ho- hopefully, you know, I could see myself being here for, for a couple of years. Um, and I, I think everyone's goal is kind of just national team. That's, that's what everyone kind of strives for, whether I'm there ready or not, maybe probably not, but can I work to get there? Yeah. I think a hundred percent, um, you know, I, I'm playing with guys that are on national teams, you know, Aaron Long, the U S Christian Caceres with Venezuela. And I've played with guys on, on prior teams that, that are with the national team. So, you know, being around these guys day in and day out kind of helps you could, you know, you could see their habits, their, their, their tendencies as pros and, players of their respective national teams um but yeah I mean I think that's kind of the end goal for anybody playing right now is you know what more do you want than than being able to play for your national team um I think that's just a goal of mine um whether you know like I said earlier am I ready for it probably not now but I think I can definitely get there at some point best player you've ever played against against i'll go oh i mean we just played barca in a friendly so i'll go with oh, yeah. Lewandowski. Yeah, that was sick how yeah, is what, that what what yeah what set that apart to like this doesn't have played? to be a, a fast feed answer um <laughs> yeah i mean i haven't been doing really well at fast feed answers anyway so <laughs> yeah some harry Maguire steps <laughs> <laughs> yeah um uh just i mean they're so good on the ball i mean they're, they're just so good um like even even like red like Red Bull way we we 
we came out wanting to press them. We're like, all right, like we're not going to sit back and defend in a, in a block of two fours, but we're like, all right, we're going to press them from goal kicks from anything. Um, and I think if, if you watch like the first 10 kind of 15 minutes closely, they're kind of like caught by surprise because mm-hmm. we were just flying at them, you know, coming into tackles and stuff. And it was a friendly obviously, but <laughs> hey, not to us, you know, we wanted to show, like show them what we're all yeah, about. Of course. Um, yeah. uh, but they could pass out of anything. They could dribble out of anything. Just the first touch. So clean. Mm-hmm. um i mean and everywhere on the field uh just so good i mean i we just kind of did like two teams one half one team and second half different team I, I got to watch this in the first half i'm just sitting on on the bench just i have the best seat in the house just watching these guys um it, it was a pretty unbelievable experience who mm-hmm. impressed you the most um i'd say frankie de Jong was pretty good um just dribbling out of pressure every time um yeah, just like can't press that guy yeah um but even like the little guys like pedri and gavi on that on that team like oh just so hard to get close to I'm just spin mm. you and turn you around um yeah and i mean even Lewandowski was maybe his first game with them but um just so clean he can do it all hold up play running behind yeah just end of the day they're they're very good <laughs> levels makes sense one experience though yeah um, it, was awesome. it, was, it was totally different playing against them too you know first half i was watching them and someone hits a through ball and i'm you know i'm chasing with a bombing which i would have never thought you know i thought he was lightning quick but you know turns out i'm kind of similar similar speed so nice um, but, hey but then him, him control <laughs> yeah right like, <laughs> well, yeah maybe i could run with these guys can't play with them maybe i'll run with them but um <laughs> the fitness yeah um and then just having him like you know dribble at me you know coming out i, I would say i probably fo- that was like the most game i've like focused to be like good in everything you know i, mm. I didn't want to be a highlight tape you know the next day so um just having that focus in in every little play it just shows too because i mean you're at a level in the mls which is just unbelievable in itself and there's millions of of kids that want to be in the spot that you are and then for you to even look up even higher it's just crazy to see the levels in the sport it's yes. just the amount of training and and background that these guys have and just like you said these little guys who can just spin you they're yeah. five four you know or whatever but it doesn't matter they're finding the space and they they have the uh-huh. touch it's crazy we're gonna go on to um Best player you ever played with now? I'll go Gonzalo Higuain. Very good. I'll, I'll never forget. Sorry if, if these are supposed to be quick, but I'll, I'll tell a backstory. No, we like stories too. too. Yeah. We like stories. Uh, um, his first day, so he he kind of joined Miami kind of mid year. Um, so we we're kind of still in, during, um, in our season. Um, so I forget who we played, but we had a game and then he joined training because, you know, the guys that don't play will usually do like a six v six the day after all the guys who played will do like a regen session. So he, he played in, in like the six v six and I think maybe, you know, 25, 20 yards long, just six v six, no restrictions, just playing. This guy would just take the ball two touch finish. And then, you know, kind of, if you score, you, you keep it. So you just go get the next one, finish. I've never seen you know someone finish so left foot, right foot. Next one he'll, he'll he'll chop you, and the guy will be sliding you know five yards away and just finish with his left foot. I was like, wow, when when this guy came, it was it was pretty unbelievable.